Welcome back for another hour of the PCW Professional Championship Wrestling. I am Derek Michaels along with my sidekick, Rick Bump. Rick, tell us, man, what's up? Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're back for another hour of Professional Championship Wrestling. Let's take a look. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Check these guys out, Rick. I know you get carried away sometimes. These two gentlemen have I impressed do. me already. Shut up. Jeremy Sage from Harvard University against Shadow. Shadow is a large individual. He is a very tall, very large individual. And let me tell you something about Jeremy Sage, Derek. He tell mentioned me. from Harvard University, graduated with a master's degree, 4.0, in law, and he has a 147 IQ, Derek. What makes a guy this intelligent to become a wrestler instead of maybe a lawyer, a doctor? Well, I, I, I wouldn't expect you to understand where well, you came from, what, second groceries to becoming a ring announcer, so this guy took a step down. You took a step up somewhere between the middle. You guys should have something in common. Derek, you know that's not true. I have a degree in broadcasting myself. So we're not going to go into that. From, from, uh, from a uh, over-the-internet school? Let's get back to the match here, Derek. As Let's I was saying, this man is a genius, and yet he's got something to prove here. He may be a genius, but he's getting his tail whipped right now. Looks like Shadow's calling for the... Oh, looks like the suplex folks coming up here. Let's see if we can break him up. He does with ease. Yeah. And you're right, Derek. Look at that. Ooh. Wow. He is a very tall, very large man. He's strong as well. Now, who's it on the outside? That would be Martin Stiles. I wonder why he's there. I do not know. He has no he has no affiliation with either one of these wrestlers. Am I correct? Not that I know of, Derek. But he sure is watching. Oh, exactly he's got to help with someone. Now, he, Jeremy Sage throws the referee to the side and distracts him, and Martin Stiles throws his knee across the uh, ring post, so there is an uh, alignment between these two gentlemen. And there's your affiliation, Derek. He's got something against Shadow. Either that or he's in oh. cahoots with Jeremy Sage. And speaking of in cahoots, Derek, what we saw oh, last week... Oh, my word. Let's not even get started on that. Did that not blow your mind? I was blown away, Derek. I, I was speechless. Well, you heard me. I just about lost my mind. I had, You know, I knew that there was something going on with Todd Diamond, but I had no... I never in my wildest dreams would have put him in the same alignment with Lance Romance. And we do have a new referee. Oh, he's got him set up for the choke slam. Let's see if he can get it. He's taking, oh, he took a little too much time. Sage kicking out of it and going after that knee, Derek. Yeah, that's the way to take a big man down right Three there. That's how you do it. Three consecutive knocks to that knee. and You're right, Derek. There's the European uppercut. You've got to take those large knees. Oh, you can hear that chop. Great chop by Jeremy Sage. Right, Ripping him into, the, into corner the corner now. Oh, he, that knee's he's hurting. still holding that knee. That knee's hurting. That is how you get the big man down. Easily. Take him out oh, from underneath. Oh, he's him up for the figure four. And he's got yeah, it. He got it. He four. got it. Now we're going to see and what kind of ring resiliency location, he has. location, Derek. He's in the center of the ring. He's got where, him there. Where those shadows' long arms can't get to the ropes. Oh, he turned it over. The pressure's now being applied to Jeremy Sage, but he's, yeah, he's, he's in the ropes. ropes. He'll break that quick. And that was a very intelligent move by Jeremy Sage, knowing that he had a long-armed individual in the middle of the ring, but just in case it got turned around on him, he could get to the ropes. Well, you're really easily. impressed by that Harvey thing, aren't you? I am, Derek. A very intelligent individual is have you talked to him? I, have you talked to him? I did have the honor of saying a few words. He wasn't very uh, talkative and nice to me. Uh-huh. I can see why. Now, Derek, that's not very nice. None of these wrestlers have any respect. Oh, oh my God! Now, that's a stiffy. Line. That's a stiffy right there. That will rattle your teeth. And, Derek, let me ask you something. How do you, with a guy like Shadow... Yeah, he, oh, oh, my God! Man! Now Super that kick. will do it. I guarantee you that's over. One, Did you hear the pop? Two. Oh, wow. And Shadow just I'm impressed. Him off. I'm impressed. Well, tell me something. This guy's so smart. Why has he got somebody outside helping him out? Well, it seems very smart to me, Derek, with all the affiliations going on in the PCW right now. You know, for the first three weeks, all you did oh, was bomb. For the Great first three weeks, bomb. all you did was complain about that crap. Three, he that's got it. Him. He got him. 
Jeremy Sage is out. Now Martin, Martin Styles, Styles. Styles is back in the ring against Shadow. That's stupid. That's stupid. He's going to turn around and swat this kid like and, a fly. Well, Derek, it looks like he's got a good foot of ice on him. Easily. Throws him down. Say good night, Martin. Look at the strength. Look at, that. He just Look at him the right strength up. on this man. There it is. Gorilla Press. Throw him, him like just a rag dropped him in the middle of the ring, Derek. My word. Just dropped him. That guy's scary, brother. That guy is scary. There he is. That's the new bad boy on the block and right there. How do you get out of that guy's grasp? Where do you run away? I don't know. You should be used to running, though, Rick. We'll figure that out right after these messages. Ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly one of the reasons why you should be here with us live every Saturday night. This is what we had as our tribute or as our appreciation towards the children on Easter. Of course, we have the Easter Bunny and Action Jackson in the ring with tons and tons of kids everywhere. Rick, this was awesome. It was, Derek. It was a great treat for the kids. And, and then, appearance by the Easter Bunny. And then, and it then turned ugly. Easter turns evil. Traumatizing. The bunny turns into Mike Fox. Happy Easter, everyone. Traumatizing young children for years to come, Derek. Oh, the only person who got traumatized. Look at the rabbit punches from Mike Fox. Rabbit punches, Karen. That's a good one. You yeah. like that, huh? Stomping him all the way down the cabbage patch. He's happy. He's happy. And so are we. I love this one. That yeah, was a kind of egg stream, Derek. Oh, that's a good one. Well, Derek, we're back once again. That was fun. You folks missed a whole lot during that commercial break, but I can tell you, we had a blast here. That's right. We'll, we miss you out here. Jeremy Jett and Mike Fox. Ready to go blow for blow, folks. And Mike Fox has a substantial weight difference in his yeah, favor in this match. He's quite a bit larger than Jeremy but Jett. But Jeremy Jett has great technique. Well, Jeremy very Jett's fast. about twice as fast, so he makes up for the size with his speed. And he will fly around the ring everywhere. He's just going to have to be smarter than that. That's what I'm talking about. Well, he set Mike Fox frame. up that time. That's how you get the job done right there. When you're outweighed, you have to use your speed That's and right. your cleverness. And he's doing exactly that. He's counteracting all of Mike Fox's he moves. Really he really is. I mean, move for move. And he's Well, hold up. Oh, went to the well one too many times on that one. He seems to be acting instead of reacting. He's out thinking like Fox. He really is, for the most part, anyway. I mean, you know, you're only going to be able to keep somebody off that's that much bigger than you for a certain amount of time. Hey, hey, and Stevens. there we go, just like you were talking about early, into those rails right there separating the crowd from the wrestlers. And those are solid steel. I mean, that's that's not a, uh, a very comfortable area out there outside of the ring. But that's what Mike Fox has to do. He's got to use his size and brawn to outwit. There's going to be no outwitting the brains of Jeremy Jett. Well, folks, you, you better get back. Physical strength. These guys aren't playing around. Get back, folks. Oh, he missed that. It took his hands. I mean, he opened up and threw a full fist right into that Right into that rail. metal guardrail. Yes, he did. Oh, my God. Mike oh Fox now God. throwing Man, Jeremy Jett into the crowd. Man, I hope everybody's all right. Those fans got more than they bargained for, Darren. Oh, Mike Fox, look this, this is a perfect this example. This is out into the crowd now. As Mike See, Fox that's what I'm talking about. Him. Cheat shots. Mike Fox will sometimes do things that just should not happen. That's a perfect example. These people in the audience better watch out. And we just turn this into a hardcore match or what? I mean, we're using trash cans. We're throwing the wrestlers into the audience. Mike Fox and the take stupid this back. referee is inside the ring county. Well, they need to take this back into the ring quick before somebody gets hurt and i'm not even concerned about the rashers at this point well, derek we mentioned come on by and buy some tickets to get in here in the gym but there's a couple fans that well the nice thing about it though is i don't so i don't know if you caught it or not but security was there in just a quick flash i mean they were there to keep anything from going any further the audience safety is always first and foremost and jeremy jett kicks out of that pen well, and also, like we said earlier, when, when you stand back and admire your work like that and just kind of take your time and have fun, you set yourself up for just about anything. Because in that squared circle, anything can happen. He went for the big elbow and nobody was home. Jeremy Jett got out just in the nick of time. He comes back with a couple of close fist shots to his head. Jeremy, Jeremy Jett's, Jett's got a good. new fuse here, folks. He's got a second wind. Wow. Not Look at that. Jeremy Jett displaying some strength there. He did, didn't he? Not too bad. He's up 
Courtney yeah. Flipping corkscrews off the second row, too, and not enough there. Man. So close. Jared, so close. He's got to grab the leg. You've got to wrap these guys up. Something wrong there with hey, hey, Mike Fox's hey. shorts. Boy, I know you noticed that. Boy, Rick, you're all over that. What color are those? I can't tell from oh, my, sure my you perspective, can. Derek. Rick, get back over here and sit down. Just trying to get a better perspective. For our audience you at home. You are full. Okay, right. You are something else, man. Not enough there for three as Jeremy Jett still has more work to do. To put Mike Fox out. I want my own table next week. I want my own table. I want a barbed wire fence between the two of us. Now, Derek. DDT from Mike Fox. Jeremy Jett caught the full blunt of that one. Derek, don't tell me you didn't see the problem with Mike Fox's shorts, too. Actually, I wasn't looking. He seems to be proud of the problem, though, because he hasn't done anything to readjust his trunks. Well, I don't think you can readjust those things. In fact, it looks like he had to jump. Oh! I bet something just got readjusted. Jeremy said, oh, my goodness. See, that's an example of what Mike I was Fox. talking about earlier. Bless his heart, man. He went, he went for the Hurricane Rada, missed it. He was willing to sacrifice his own body for the... And Mike Fox hung onto the rope. And now here's Canyon into the ring. Excuse me. Canyon seeking a little retribution for, I guess, what he, happened to him. He has no idea what he's doing. Now, there you go, Jeremy. What is Canyon doing? Canyon. We're over here at Deep Ellum. We've got a little party going on. This is Arby hooking us up with some sandwiches today. The Deep Ellum Arts Festival 2001. Y'all gonna have to come check us out. I'm here with Action Jackson and Iron Eagle, PCW. I know you know who I am. Our main event, Mike Fox. And I've got a ton of people waiting to see me. I just need to know where my booth is. Where's my booth? Oh, yeah. All the way down there. Waiting for you. There's a huge, huge line. They're all waiting for you. Girls everywhere. All down there. Girls everywhere. Go down there, dude. Go down there. Fox! Can we get your autograph? Come on, Fox. Come on. Oh, oh! No! No! Come out! Hold it back. Look at it. Be white. Tell them what you think. I love PCW. You're right. Take a whip him, he can also give one out. Pulling the pants off there. Oh, you noticed that, didn't you, huh? You noticed that, didn't you, Rick? Pulling the pants off. Favorite part of the program, isn't it, Rick? Well, Derek, they're pull-away pants. I was just... You noticed that, too. Oh, yeah. Now, Chris Germain. Now, here's one of the guys at the very beginning of the PCW, our, our debut show. I had this guy pegged to be in the title match. Of course, he didn't make it. Which, you know, there were surrounding circumstances that kept that from happening, but he is one of the hottest wrestlers here. You know what? I was going to come out here and rip my pants off and show everybody my tidy wedding. Oh, Rick. But I'm just not going to do it. Sorry, Rick. I'm glad he didn't, Derek. And I think the crowd is, too. Mm. And there's a young Iron Eagle fan. The haircut is exactly like Iron Eagle. Spike sticking up. Well, they're in a the lockup, and Chris Chambers turns that into a headlock. Oh, he's grabbing the hair. Oh, he's going to miss that do-up. I don't think so. I think that stuff's pretty well <laughs> held together. <laughs> it does look like it's a permanent fixture, doesn't it? Sends him off the rope. There's a good leapfrog. Oh, that was nice. Chris Chambers is adding new move to his repertoire. Nice slingshot off the rope. Elbows him right in the face. And now he's going back to work. Chris nope. Germany reverses it. Reverses it. 
good flying press. Taking the pin. Uh, he's way, way too one early. Pound. Way too early to try to go for the pin. Chris Chris Germany can take more than that, Eric. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You're an ex-Navy SEAL. You're used to taking abuse. He's getting it now, Derek. Neck breaker. 